Welcome to our Movie Maker on YouTube series. This program is about editing still images, adding titles and sound in Movie Maker. We are only using the new Movie Maker which works with Windows 7 and updated Vista. It is not automatically pre-installed with Windows anymore and you will need to download it from the explore.live.com web. Just go here to Essentials, Movie Maker, and if you go down here you can choose the different language versions which you need. Download it and get it installed. A couple of things about the new Live Movie Maker. It has a different interface and approach to video editing. The main advantage is though that it works a lot better with new video formats, such as the ones from memory card cameras, newer still cameras and also some smartphones. If you have used the old Movie Maker, you realize that the timeline is gone. We arranged the images, the titles and sounds and music all in this collection window. The monitor, on the other hand, has gone to the left with its basic control. Let's just get some still images in. We go to Home, Add Videos and Photos. And I've got some images here from a course. I just choose the first 10. And they're here as thumbnails in my collection window. If we play them back on our monitor, we can see that they're very long. It's just exactly seven seconds. Let's make them shorter to animate this film. We select all of the images. We go to Edit and here we can change the duration. Either some of those numbers or we can also type in 0.2 which is quite nice for animation. It means five images per second. And if we watch the film now, the things are a lot more animated. If we copy and paste all of the images can make the film longer using the same images. So this is a very easy way for simple animations. Let's add a title at the beginning of the film. We go back to home. We choose title, not credits. And this opens a window which is very much like a word processor. We make a simple title. We can change the font, the color, the size. Let's just make this bigger. We can change the location. It's all very easy. And now you have different effects how the title is coming in. So let's just use this one for the time being. You can also come back later on by double clicking on this title, which has appeared here now, and change it. Let's add some music. Back in home, add music. Choose a soundtrack you like. And it puts it automatically on top of all of the images because the soundtrack is longer than our little film. If we go back to music tools, we can decide if the music starts a bit later. With this track I would prefer that because it's very quiet at the beginning, also when it stops. And we can also change the volume, make that a little quieter. So here we go. Let's watch what we have. And you can see already how easy it is to make a little stop motion film using still images. Voila! Try it out yourself and come back to us if you need more help. Thank you.